Yeah, because see, my daughter, my daughter would kill a human before she'd kill an animal. That's but she, does, she eats them, so she does kill them. Yeah, well, but what I'm saying, she doesn't kill them. She pays for them to be killed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so here we are out here in Manchester. It's a Christmas winter's day. It's raining, it's pouring, and we're out here giving out wicked no turkey roast crowns. And we've got these little revamp your Christmas QR code uh, brochures, and they actually link straight to the Christmas download pack. We'll leave all these linked down below. You can actually get these printed out yourself and hand them out. We'll leave a, a link to the download pack down below too. But uh, the story behind these is that I was looking in Tesco's for these and there was none left. So I contacted uh, Derek Sarno, the guy who created these, and he sent me out some. So thank you so much, Derek. Derek doesn't sponsor me or pay me to promote these. I just love what he's doing for animals. And I think they're a really, really tasty product. Had them last night and they were fantastic. So we've got Taz here helping out, cooking up some no turkey rolls. And we've got a little bit of cranberry or vegan mayo to go with them. So we're out here speaking for turkeys. On the back here, we've got turkey footage. This is us in a turkey factory farm the other night and this has got the whole industry back to front and this screen here is all the other animals that are exploited and killed. Now because it's Christmas time millions and millions and millions of turkeys are going to be slaughtered so that's why we're focusing on turkeys today. So I think last year around 15 million turkeys were slaughtered and 10 million of those turkeys were slaughtered around Christmas time so that's why we're out here talking for the turkeys and yeah let's see how it goes. This is turkey industry because Christmas is coming up. Yeah. Most turkeys are actually slaughtered at Christmas times in the UK. So around 10 million. So 15 million are killed a year. 10 million of those are killed at Christmas time. And they're de they're de-beaking de -beaking them so they don't peck each other in the sheds. Um, oh my God, we know that. Oh crap. Yeah. They're the little Turks. They're called pults. Little turkeys. Yeah. And the ones that are defective, they We'll put in a macerator so they blend them up or they chuck them in a bag and suffocate them. What? The defective chicks, yeah. Suffocate them? Yeah, well they don't, they're, if they're defective they won't be profitable so they have to get rid of them before they grow them up. These are big sheds. Oh, it's a factory farm. I was in one the other night. This is me in a factory farm in the UK of, of turkeys. This is a red tractor approved farm as well. It's a lot. Have you heard of the Red Tractor food standard here in the UK? Yeah. yeah, so they've got the stamp, Red Tractor saying, oh, humane and higher standards. This is a Red Tractor farm. So it's not true. Well, uh, you know, don't believe every sticker you read. That's, well, no, yeah. I don't. Yeah. It's a neck dislocation. I saw that. Yeah. But is that to break killing? Yeah. But they're still walking around before it's terrible. Yeah, snap their necks. No, I don't like that. Yeah. That's animal farming though, there's just, it's rife with suffering and... Suffering, oh, terrible. So this is an organisation called Viva in the UK and they uh, oh. investigated a turkey farm and these are pecking injuries, cannibalism. It's infected snood like, oh. walking around on their own faeces all the time. They have deformities as well because they're bred, they grow double the size, they're just, they're just getting deformed feet. Their feet are too big to handle their weight. I mean, their bodies are too big to handle their weight, sorry. Here you go. Thank One. You. Two. You Bless you guys. Have a Merry Christmas. Nice Take you. care. Hopefully no animals involved. <laughs> what do you guys, you guys, um, you guys are vegan or? Do you oh, know? I was for about a week. Oh, really? I lost about seven pounds. <laughs> Didn't eat enough. Probably, well, where, where I live, there's no options really. Unless, and I was quite young, I didn't cook for myself either, so it was like I was picking stuff off the shelves that was vegan, yeah. and it's not, it's yeah. not enough. Nah, yeah. I imagine living in Manchester, there's quite a bit of choice. Oh, dude. All, the, all across the UK, there's yeah. great stuff. There's nothing in Preston, though, is it? Vegan. You got a subway? Yeah, I know, but it's not good. It's like they try and, it's like they try and mm. make it taste too much like meat. You don't like that? Rather than it being like... So why do you eat meat if you don't like things that taste no, like no, meat? No, no, it doesn't taste like it. I'd rather... Oh, uh, you'd rather the real thing? Rather, well, no, either rather the real thing or something completely different. So you'd rather eat whole foods like legumes and beans and rice oh, yeah, and... Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. If I was to do vegan, I'd do it like that. Oh, cool. Rather yeah. than eating I like, I like veggie patties, actually. Veggie what do you think? Burgers. Do you I think it, you don't get... Your stomach doesn't get turned off by, like, animals being stabbed to death? Have you seen this? What's on the screen? 
Yeah, it's not great. Well, I mean, these are just, this is called musing. This is the wool industry. Um, but I just, I'm just showing people like what happens in uh, UK farms and abattoirs and that, eh? I know, it's, it's like, uh, what's his name? Zane, we know from Morocco. They just, they just chop heads of goats off in the streets. Yeah, well, they do it behind closed doors here, but. Yeah. That's a religious event, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eid. You're talking about Eid? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So turkeys can't naturally mate now because they've been bred to be double the size, so they, they artificially do it like this. Wow. Yeah. Pretty bizarre. Yeah, it is uh, disgusting. What's that, man? I'm off of the vegan and stuff like that. Yeah, good, I man. It. I went vegan for maybe a year, but I slowly tripped back just eating like some fish and stuff but I know that I shouldn't be but one question yeah, I want to ask people because they always hit me with it they said when I went vegan my friends were like you're still killing plants what's my answer oh well we don't care morally about plants because they don't have a brain and nervous system they can't suffer they right so they don't have a brain no nervous system and they can't suffer and they don't perceive, perceive reality there's no subject so me and you we have a subject a personality someone inside us experiencing things a, person, so. a plant does not have a subject inside of there they don't have consciousness right. they can react to stimuli in the environment like your phone might react when you touch it and they right. respond yeah but like they don't there's no one in there that suffers like in a, t a turkey or in a pig right, right so that's the answer yeah that's a well good answer Thank take this man here right. put put it in no, that's all right just put it in here the vegan christmas pack for you yeah, bro thank you, take thank care you. man take care do you, do you want to try a turkey no no turkey roll do you, what do you do you, what do you want um cranberry or mayo on there this is vegan mayo turkeys are beautiful animals oh my god this is the uk did you see that one in the foreign country online where they boiled that live dog well they put the pigs in gas chambers here in the uk fully conscious yeah i did not know that so well, it's kind of similar. I'm with a guy. My husband's Muslim, and he doesn't eat pig either. So when I watch this, I'm like, fair enough, so I don't Air eat pig. Yeah. But you, do you hear other animals, though? Have you got any good videos on that? Um, We've got some sanctuary footage chamber. as well. But you need it. But people need to know what they're paying for. So oh. you're not paying for animals to be in sanctuaries if you eat them. You're paying for animals to be in slaughterhouses if you eat them. Yeah, I know. But when you're a vegan, you're sort of on the side of justice and sanctuaries and things like this. Like that. Yeah, there's one here in Manchester. What's it supposed to do it? What, uh, Ashton Online. It? You know Ashton Online. Oh yeah, I used to live there. There's a gas chamber there. Uh, we're handing out these as well. It's just got a QR code. It, you can download a free ve vegan Christmas pack. Yeah. It shows you how to like. I don't eat meat anyway. That's why I'm so fat. Too much sugar stuff. Would well, you know like the difference between a vegan and a vegetarian? I just thought. Yeah. One can have cheese and milk and stuff where the other one can't. But well, they choose not to because the dairy and egg industries yeah. exploit and kill the animals as well. One so. thing, you feel like they're alive, they're, you know, animals, but so are plants. So if you're yeah. on the side of animals, then why yeah, not on the side they, of plants? They, do, they don't have heart, they're not beating. Well, no, but they are alive. They, they well, uh, eat, do you think there's... Eat. Well, I'll ask you the same question. If you're on the side of humans, why aren't you on the side of tomatoes? Well, I am. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, so you care about tomatoes, do you? Morally, <laughs> ethically, do you care about a? I don't eat them. Do you care about a, care about a, a, a vegetable? Right, a, a, a sweet potato? No, you don't. So you, you don't. Yeah. There's a difference between a, a, a carrot and a. Detriment every day you hear about me. Because you don't eat meat, you're a vegetarian. Like I just thought that that was a veggie burger, and okay. about it. <laughs> well, you, well, like all the dairy cows and the egg laying hens are all slaughtered and exploited yeah. throughout their life, and you know that's why. Like, yeah. This is the dairy industry. They take the semen from the males, and then uh, they inject into the female like this. This is an insemination process. Hey, my brother. How you going, man? What's up, all baby chicks? Yeah, so um, this is the egg industry's, uh, so the males will get will go into a blender, so they separate them to, the, the males don't lay eggs, so they don't use them, they just blend them up, fully conscious. The don't hens, yeah, because they just destroy them because they won't give them eggs. It's the egg industry, they don't use them for meat, those particular uh, breed. Um, it's a free range barn. <laughs> well, not very free range, is it? Yeah, they're supposed to give them access to the outside, doesn't mean they can reach that access. Um, about 16, up to 16,000 in a bomb. Yep. People getting done for all this, though, is it? Mate, they're, they're not breaking any, any guidelines. No. They just got to give them access, you know what I mean? This is cannibalism, this happens in bar. Yeah, yeah. This is our turkeys. I don't know if you eat turkeys this time of the year, but. Um... Don't eat meat, people. I don't eat meat. Oh, on you, bro. That's good, eh? I went vegan about a year ago, mate. Did you? Yeah, Are you a vegan? Well, this is well, bro. Vegan, yeah. What made you go vegan, man? Brother. Your brother? He's got a little business in it, and I went 
they had for us because the drugs and that's what they were changing it, they'll judge different food. You eat dead energy, you're eating dead trauma, bro. When you're eating chicken, yeah. I can, you kill a chicken, I eat, I'm eating that chicken's trauma, so why am I going to put dead energy in my body? That's right. That's, from the earth, that group, that that's it, brother. Like, you know, like, On you, mate. Legend, mate. You know, that's what I love to hear. To watch the video, bro. Look, yeah. Chicken, it? it's, it's suffering, man. You eat suffering, you become suffering. That's it. How long you been? How long you been sober, bro? Yeah, yeah, I'm seven years, year. seven, eight years sober now. Feel fresh, though, mate. It's killer, bro. It's the best. Dead energy, dead trauma, bro. Yeah, dead bodies. That's it. So you do dead energy in your stomach if you're in the way. <laughs> Peace, brother. Take care, man. What a legend. We're talking about. Um, this is me yeah, in a turkey no, farm no, the other no, night. Terrible. I was here in the in the UK. That's yeah. me there. They oh, pick each other. Yeah, that's myself in the I factory know, farm. There's so many of them. Yeah. There's no room. No. It's just so sad. Yeah, they peck each other in there. Most of the turkey comes Don't out of places wrong. like this. I understand the food uh, chain and stuff like that. I do. I mean... Do you think this is the food chain? So vegan? No, not that. No, no I don't believe in that. Yeah, I don't, yeah. totally don't believe in that. I believe in if you to be killed, you should be killed in a, hum in a humane way, not okay. inhumane way. How do you kill someone? Because we do eat meat. I know it's hard, but I know what you're going to say, and I understand. How do you kill someone in a humane way that doesn't want to you die? Can't, you can't, but do you know what? We're a society, even if the animals attack each other. You of have course to they survive. do. They do. It's, it's, but it's we survival. don't attack each other, do we? No, we don't attack each other. We try not to. Do. Yeah, but we think that's unethical, don't we? Yeah, it's wrong. It's so wrong. I mean, yeah. the wars are so wrong. So we don't. We try not to behave like animals who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're civilized. But yeah. We can't survive. We can't survive. We can't survive without meat. We, we can't really. We need the, we need the red. We need the blood. We need the, all the different vitamins. We need all iron. Uh, protein. How long do you think I've been vegan? How long do you think know, I've been? Maybe I guess a year? a year. Should be dead by then. Right. Well, hello. No, I'm seven years vegan. Right. That's fine. I understand. My friends. I've got friends that are vegan. Oh really? And I okay. don't. I don't. Put so do you think? You, on them do you think you can? You think you can get your nutrients from plant-based diet? See me. I'll, I'll put. I'll put it. I'll put it to you. I can, uh, speaking to that big girl, I tried my daughters on corn because I make chilli and stuff like that. Oh, really? Right, and I tried the corn to okay. give to them and stuff like that. I, I, I don't know if it's just a Scottish thing, we've been brought up on meat and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So is I, eh? I, No, I know, I know what you're saying, and, and it's all... I'm half Scottish. Reversed. I know, but I'm not just talking about Scottish, I'm talking about all over the world. Yeah, we all, all, we all meat raised meat. on meat. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? We're all raised on meat, yeah. Saying. I totally understand. I don't think any anything. These should animals be are dying in the shed. I know that they're not even poisoned. They poison the other ones when they're dead and stuff Just, like that. Yes. It's disgusting. They eat the I, dead I bodies in there. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, they're eating. It's cannibalism. Yes. Yeah. But you know what? That's another wee thing. We can have another wee argument there. If you have an accident somewhere, if you have a and a plane goes down and you're out in nowhere. Different scenario. I'd do it. I know it's different. You yeah. have to, to survive. Yeah, but you don't have to eat a turkey I right now. I, I mm. totally understand. Mm. I do understand. I like me. So did I. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and they're okay. So I wonder if you like this. I wonder if you like this. Well, like the girls make me something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you'll be able to tell me then. Probably. Because I love this stuff now. See me, I'm a foodie. So was I. I love my food. Oh, yeah. I love my food. I smell food before I eat it. Yeah. Cranberry or mayo? Oh, I like them both. <laughs> I want to. I want to hear your opinion so we can. Oh my God, my opinion. Because you're against animal cruelty. You seem like you, you care about what happens to animals. Yeah, I do. Of course. Yeah, I do. yeah. So does my daughter. My daughter. If my daughter could be vegan, she would be. Yeah. She just likes meat. She tries not to think about it. I still eat meat, just this type. Doesn't yeah, have an animal be slaughtered, do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, because see my daughter, my daughter would kill a human before she'd kill an animal. And that's but she, do, she eats them, so she does kill them. Yeah, well, but what I'm saying, she doesn't kill them. She pays for them to be killed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But, um, was that, am I getting the wee man's pie and all? <laughs> you, you're going to tell me... <laughs> I'm going to get a true Scots, Scots woman's oh, opinion on... Oh my I'm a true Scots Yeah. <laughs> Is he videoing me, the bugger? <laughs> no. He's videoing everyone. No! Not me! Now this is, so if you want this, Wicked Look Kitchen. It. And also, here, let me give you... Give, 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 hey, give me some stuff. This here's for you. Can so I you, take a wee picture of these and post it on my... Course, of course you can. Revamp your Christmas, and you scan this, and it'll give you a vegan Christmas pack, so you can give See, you a I'm guide. I'm Egyptian wheat halal meat. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Am I good? No, no, I'll no. Be back. I'll be back. Halal, I'll be back. halal animals oh get their God. head cut off, oh, <laughs> so... Um, I don't advocate for eating animals right, at all. Right, yeah. Right, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, wanna, we don't want to cut off the head. I'll show you my rescue turkey. Where is she? She should be coming up in a second. I'm but, uh, watching blood journey. So, what, what do you, oh, sorry, don't put me off. The, yeah, we'll, we'll wait for this part, but I rescued a turkey the other day. We called her Tinsel. Aww. And she's safe now. I took her from a farm that she was about to get her head cut off. So. Oh, for, oh. But here, here they go. These, these animals here, are, these turkeys are rescued. This Aww, is, this is Tinsel. 
Could you kill Tinsel? This is me and Tinsel. Better be quick, she's gone soon. Perfect. Here, take your food. Please don't halal kill chickens or turkeys. Don't pay for them to be halal slaughtered either. I just told you. Okay. You know, you know, vegan is really the true halal. There's no suffering. Yeah. We do, these are little Christmas packs if you guys wanted a little... Oh, you got one? Yeah. So if you scan that, you and your, your girlfriend can um, get a, like, a little vegan Christmas pack. It, teach you, it shows you where all this good yeah, stuff is for... Yeah. Hopefully it'll come back. She'd love to meet you, man. Yeah, on you, man. Yeah, you can. Honestly, man. I was really detached from all of this. Yeah. Before... Uh, I mean, we tried doing it a couple of times, you know, just being a bit more like... Eating, eating more like plant-based food and stuff. Yeah. I watch videos, man, and it's... So it makes a connection a bit. It? It's yeah. hardcore, man. It is hardcore. I mean, I didn't. It was one of those things. I always saw it as a bit of a novelty, but. Nah. Well, you know, like. Some of it's really bad, man. If there were humans or dogs in there, you wouldn't put money into those industries, yeah, would exactly, you? So. Exactly. Yeah. I watched one of your videos and you compared it. Compared eating cows or something to eating a dog. Yeah. And uh, whoever you were talking to were absolutely stumped. And yeah. that, that connected, I thought, you know what, he's absolutely right. Yeah. What we conceive, what, what we perceive as a domestic animal. Just because you perceive them as that doesn't mean they don't suffer the same as a cow yeah, and exactly. ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're, exactly, it's, you're exactly right. It's like we're discriminating between these. Of course I can, yeah. I hope you have a really good Christmas. I'm sure I've held a vegan one. Yeah, I hope so. I'll, I'll, I'll even send you my pictures. You, no one should be harmed so you can have a good time. That's yeah, what I think. As long as you can do whatever you want, as long as you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's been a very successful day already. Um, we want to try to give out all that tur no turkey turkey though. Mm. Is nice. I'm telling you right now. Mm. Amazing. Hey, brother. How are you, mate? Yeah, you. Uh, I saw your videos on Facebook. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool, so, man. Uh, I'm not a vegan, but okay. uh, I, I might be interested. I never try. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cruel what happened with the with animals. So I don't know. So, what, do you need some advice, or do you want to know a little bit more about it? Yeah, yeah, oh. both of them. A okay. Little bit of, uh, both. So, vegan is about the animals, so it's an animal rights thing. It's about like uh, opposing the cruelty and exploitation of animals. You know, what I mean, the yeah. violence towards animals. Um, basically, we we think about all the ways animals are exploited. So, like clothes and food and dairy and eggs. Yeah. All those animals are exploited yeah. and killed. Um, and then you, you move into like uh, products like uh, shampoo and you know face stuff and like you know uh, cosmetics. Animals are tested. Do you think uh, this is going to be a big change in future? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, in humanity. Of course. Like maybe people stop eating uh, animals. If enough people have a change of heart mm -hmm. and like boycott these industries and get on our side, yeah. get on the side of the animals, then maybe it will happen sooner. So. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway. It's very, very kind of you to fight uh, because of uh, animal rights and yeah. Uh, everything, yeah. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're pr trying to protect the animals from people who are paying for them to be in these places. Yeah. So when you go into the supermarket, the restaurant, whatever, you buy dairy, you buy meat, I'm protecting the, the animals from you because you're yeah. paying for them to be in these places and you treat them like a, an object to, to eat and to take things from. So. All we ask when people are vegan is that they stop doing something bad to the animals. You don't have to be out here being an activist and speaking to everyone. At bare minimum, we want people to stop doing this to them. And then, you know, go be an activist from there if you want. But like, yeah, this is, um, I rescued this turkey mm -hmm. the other night from a farm. I know. Huh. Yeah, tinsel. If you scan this with your phone, it's heaps easy. You just get your camera out and then you can take this with you. But like, you can get yeah. a, a little vegan guide and it's got a challenge 22 or veganuary you can get help and guidance going vegan yeah i'm actually eating a lot of uh, of meat you know and uh, i don't know i'm interested really yeah. yeah well you're not eating meat you're eating dead animals aren't you yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meat, meat's a word they you know they use these words to try to take away from what it actually is it's a yeah. suffered tortured animal body and you, you you're making your your body a grave for them yeah this is where like they yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the suffering. I don't know if you eat turkeys at Christmas time. A lot of people don't. Some people do. In the UK, they're the most predominantly killed animal at Christmas time. But I was in the, here the other night. They're covered in their own feces. Oh my God. Pecking each other in confinement. Um, you know, people, that we don't really see this image, you know, huh. when we buy and uh, support these things. And, uh, mm. Oh, of course not. But, um... Just because you don't see it doesn't mean you're not causing it to happen. So yeah. here you go, yeah. my brother. 
you want to try it here and let me know what you think? It's really good. Do you like it? Seriously? Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's good. But I've been eating this type of uh, vegan meat for many years, so I really like it. Yeah, it's really good. It's, at least it's not coming from someone like that come out of this place, you know? This is just plants. And, and from where do you buy? Tesco. Tesco. And even if you don't like the mock meat all the time, the, the vegan meat all the time, you have lots of beans and legumes and rice and pasta and vegetables oh, and yeah, fruits. Yeah, I'm eating yeah. Uh, that yeah. vegetables and everything. Soya milk and um, or, or oat milk or almond milk or rice milk or something. You know, like taking the dairy. The dairy industry is disgusting. It's breast milk from a suffered mother. They all yeah. get killed in a slaughterhouse. All the mothers, like it's a, it's bad what happens to them, and you know. Everyone think, can make a difference, you know? I think you have a, a big role in changing this. I mean, you you, are act, you definitely do something. Thanks, yeah. man. Appreciate it, brother, eh? Yeah. yeah. Take, take, have, take the Christmas pack and your food and uh, have, a good, have a good Christmas. Hopefully there's no animals involved. Just a little reminder to anyone who wants to do Stands for Change. I'll leave a little link down below. It's Setup Guide. Um, yeah, you can set one up. We've got the links to all the printouts that you'll need, um, the pamphlets, all, all that. You can just do it in your, your area. Go for it. Go for it. It's, uh, you know, hopefully soon we can, we can fund people to get set up. But for right now, um, you can do a little crowdfund. I mean, there's definitely a few hundred pounds worth of stuff here. But, like, the cook is really cheap. Um, yeah, so get, get into it. Oh, that is nice. It's good, eh? <laughs> the flavour definitely, yeah. No, that's lovely. I love it. Peace to you, mate. Have a good Christmas, eh? Take care. I love them. Yeah. I ate nearly, mate, the rest of that dinner from that I cooked the other day, straight in the gob. There was none left. Done a really good job with those. Everyone should leave an amazing review on Tesco's website about those wicked uh, no turkey roast crowns swarm it with good reviews. It doesn't harm the turkeys. It's better for the animals. Look, taste amazing. Just go hit them up. Look, better than slaughtered animal bodies. Go, all the activists out there, go to Tesco's website. Leave amazing reviews for these uh, no, uh, no turkey roast crowns by Wicked. Do it. So what happens to the hens when they can't produce eggs for that farmer anymore? They probably do kill them and sell them as meat or eat yeah. them. Yeah. Okay, so you're supporting the killing of the, the hens? 